what's up people, Dr. Wolves is right here and welcome to a special little video and it's pretty much like a little announcement and a, le a massive shout out to a shop that I've been supporting for quite some many years now Wax and Beans, as you guys know, they're all from my hometown in Bury. Like I said, if you guys are massive fans of records, whether they're old, new, odd, wild, weird and the wonderful Definitely check them out because they have so much stuff and they get them in every single day Whether they're brand spanking new artists with their brand new records or remasters of the old from the new Or pre-owned because they actually buy and sell pre-owned records from people who are selling their collection Or they just find them in other places and just want to buy them but today, I went down there, as you guys know, I went to as well, I went to a shop as well, as you guys know, Geek Retreat, to buy some Pokemon stuff, and like I said, I'm going to put stuff in the background so you guys know what might happen in the near future, so you can see what's going to happen in the near future. I went down there, before I went there, because it was it weren't open yet, I went to Wax and Beast to get some to eat and some breakfast, and then I found out that a load of uh, singles have just been released. Not just new stuff, I meant old stuff. But it turns out that he actually bought a over 20 to 30,000 single records. That's a shit ton of records, ladies and gentlemen. And you may be thinking, why did he buy that many? Well, to be honest, what I found out is that he was doing a charity um, event. And all these pro all these si single singles, all 30,000 of them, are from the same person from a charity that was... I'm informed with some sort of hospital, if I recall, from a hospital radio. So, like I said, these are really, really old. I think the oldest one I found here was 1984. So, it's really, really old. It's like almost 40 years old. And um, to be quite frank, either way, whether you guys are resellers or collectors or just love vinyl, Definitely come on down and buy yourself some because I spent quite a lot of money for my ones. And like I said, these singles, they're only a pound. That's all it is. One pound. Literally, hang on. One record is a pound. It's nothing, really. That's cheap. And like I said, you may find a lot of stuff. And as well, I did find some stuff. There was other stuff there that I wanted to get, but I thought to myself, it's best for me not to get everything and everything because I'm going to get out of room myself. So I picked up the, my personal favourite ones that I wanted for my personal collection and also stuff that I know I can do in the future for your YouTube videos for like lip syncs and covers. But I'll tell you truthfully though people, there was loads of stuff there. Um, somebody a day before picked up 800 of them for his own shop, so probably might have took a lot of the most expensive and rare ones like The Clash, you know, Queen, you know, the big ones, Prince, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, you know, you, the good stuff. But besides that though, I still found some amazing stuff for my own personal collection. And like I said, when I was there, I found other stuff there that I left behind. Like there was some Metallica, some ACDC and Def Leppard. So yeah, you can see what is there. So pretty much right here, this is what I got. Um, I will be going down there again for another lot. Um, I spoke to him ne um, today as well. Um, ben, hello Ben, if you're watching. Um, I've made it. Um, we've both made a little tiny pact there, saying that um, I'll try and make a video in his shop when it's not too busy. But as well as he's told me that the next lot of these drops that he's sorting out will be next week's Wednesday. So you might get an update on what else I found. So today, this is what I pretty much found today. So I got myself Captain Sensible. There's, they, there are more shakes than ladders, snakes and ladders, I meant, and. The Four Marys Go Go Dance all night at the Groom Cellar. Pretty much what this one is is actually punk. So if you guys know a bit of punk, you got that there. I do like punk. Like I said, the Clash is punk, so I like to give punk a bit more of a um, a feeling and everything. I've gone for some comedy songs as well. Billy Connolly, and as you guys know, one of the most iconic comedians in the world i got quite a lot of billy connolly so this one here is tell luna i love her and song for youther so there's that one you have cockney um resect which is another punk band which is um bad man bad man and the new song um my mother mainly knows these ones more than anything and to be honest she knows them more than i do and she says these are really really good so i 
went ahead and give them a listen and they actually are really phenomenal we have the damned so you can actually see there actually is some records here now like i said a lot of people may be thinking oh there's 20 odd or 30 thousand records from this this hotel radio station it's all gonna be i don't know frank sinatra sammy davis jr you know the old 60s and 70s and maybe 50s there ain't there's some 90s in there and there was definitely some 80s and 70s there is a bit older stuff as well i like some of the wind and wonderful but like i said you get if you go through them all you will find some amazing stuff so i right here i've got the damned um alone again or in dulce um Decorum, is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Uh, this one, um, I really don't want to say it on the YouTube, but as you guys know, you guys know me. I like one song from this bat, from this singer. Um, you guys may know this from the film Joker. This is Gary Glitter, Rock and Roll Part One. Sally didn't have Rock and Roll Part Two, but once again, Rock and Roll Part One is just as good. And it also has the other song called "You Belong to Me." I am definitely not listening to that song because it's quite cringy <coughs> <coughs> and quite, um, let's just say, a bit too treading in water. <laughs> I have the Jam. Now, once again, a band from my mother's youth, and I'm starting to love them a lot. This is the Funeral Pry and the Discon Disguise. So that's good for the jam. Now, once again as well, Kiss. I bought a lot of Kiss as well because right now in the UK, Kiss is like hard to find in real life. And I've only found like maybe three LPs of Kiss in Wax and Beans and they are quite expensive. Luckily I got the one I was after which was, I think I paid £20 for, which is actually really cheap for KISS. And once again, KISS, £4, definitely want to get them. So I got um, Nothing For The Incest and Lick It Up, which is actually an absolutely amazing soundtrack um, a track from KISS. We have another KISS one here, Mr. Blackwell and A World Without Heroes, another belting one. We have Billy Idol, you guys know me, I like Billy Idol. We got Sweet 16, Beyond Belief, which is an absolute amazing record there. Um, another Billy Idol, Hot in the City, you guys know that very well. And like I said, I'm gonna try my hardest to try and do that song. Catch me, Catch My Fall, which is another good one. Uh, more Kiss here, um, Rock and Roll All Night, Party Every Day, the classic, everybody knows that and Creatures of the Night, definitely would listen to that quite a lot. Uh, another Kiss, um, Crazy Crazy Nights and No No No. If you don't know Kiss like I do, them songs are really good. One that my mother told me about, T-Rex, as you guys know from, probably you might see in a future video when I go for my um, CD collection. Um, this is The Groover and Midnight, T-Rex, a great one like right there. Um, we've got these two here which are um, slightly punk, slightly rock. We've got um, John Jett and the Black Hearts, which is Who Woo Is Me and Crimson and Clover, right there. And the other one is I Love Rock and Roll and Love Is Pain. And if you guys don't have a clue who what these songs are, a lot of people in the UK may know what I Love Rock and Roll is. You know, I love rock and roll, put another one in the oven, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit of uh, loud people stuck in my head as well. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Tapu, which is the one who sang China in Your Hand, and this is the record for China in Your Hand. And there is um, No Sense of Pride. Very nice. We do have some more comedy ones here. These three records right here. These are uh, Jive Bunny, and you guys know how much I love Jive Bunny. This is the Swing the Moods and Glenn Miller's Melody. The other one is Let's Party, Alud Lang Shang, and John Anderson's Band. So once again, another different one from Jive Bunny. And the other one is That's What I Like and Pretty Blue Eyes, which I actually haven't heard of before. So definitely interesting listening to that. I got myself a very special one right here, like I said like a blood orange vinyl of generation x yeah awesome and not only that i got two cut two different versions so i got this one here which has 
Friday's Angels and Try for Kicks. This heat, not bad. And the other Generation X is Your Generation and Day by Day, which to be honest, I've not heard of Day by Day yet, so definitely gonna give that one a listen. But I have heard Your Generation and it is quite awesome. This one caught my eye. Well, actually, I didn't find this first. M my mother, my mum, Mama Dobbs, found this first. And this is from Hot Gossip. And it's Space Invaders. And when I listen to it, it's a female singer singing the song about Space Invaders. It's weird and wonderful, and I love it. So it's definitely going in my game collection as well with my music soundtracks. That's awesome. We have ourselves one Def Leppard right here that I wanted, which is Wasted and Hello America. Awesome soundtracks right there. There's another punk one right here, um, Angelic Upstarts, um, Kids on the Street and Sun Never Shines. If you're, not, if you're a massive punk fan, you guys know what this is. If you're not a punk fan, you won't understand it. But like I said, give them a listen, they're awesome. We have um, Charlie Daniels Band, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. I've always wanted a record of them. Finally got myself one, that's awesome. We have... Um, Dickies. Now, this is the Banana Split song. Now, if you guys are a massive fan of the horror film, The Banana Splits, or the children's show called Banana Splits, you know what this song is. You know. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. That's the song. So, yeah, if you guys know the Banana Splits, you'll definitely know what this is. Um, the other ones I've got is Adam and the Ants. Once again, he was punk and then they became a bit poppy. This is Stand and Deliver and Beat My Guest. Good songs. This was the um, record. This was the single that was in the album Prince Charming, if I recall. We have Annika, which is Japanese Boy and A Found Kiss. Japanese Boy, an amazing song from her. And it's one of the ones that put her on the map. So definitely wanted that one. We have ourselves another Adam and the Ants. This is um, Ant Music and Fall In. Not really 100% sure what them songs were, but um, definitely would give them a listen because I do like Adam and the Ants. And the rest of them are Billy Connolly. <laughs> yeah, I actually bought one, two, three, four, five. Is it? I had seven because I got off show you one before. So I bought seven records of Billy Connolly. People might be thinking, Dobbsy, you're nuts. But Billy Connolly is a um, copyright free singer because he's a comedian but he does comedy songs so you might hear some of these on the channel and you may laugh at him because this one here is Take My Photograph, I Broke Your Face and Osmos. Weird ones but I've heard of them before because I have watched his stand up comedies and they are absolutely hilarious. This one is No Chance No Change or charge and it's not gonna it's not got a name which is an absolute amazingly funny song and the other one is the really boot song and sentence where's mine um, in the brownies which is another great one and roll cup this morning another good one um, this one is I couldn't spell dot 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 You'll find out what that is if you guys can listen to that. <laughs> and the other one is the C&W Super Song. <laughs> and the last one is one of his famous ones. And that is called D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Divorce. <laughs> yeah, he's, he named a song called Divorce. If you don't understand what that means, you've got to listen to the song. It's awesome. I love it. And the other one is Cuckoo. Or... Cuckoo! There you go, cuckoo! So pretty much, I pretty much got around about 40 odd records there. So I spe so I pretty much donated 40 plus pounds to the charity. Now like I said people, if you guys are living locally in Bury or Manchester and you guys know Wax and Beans, please check them out. Go ahead and visit them. They have amazing records all year round. And like I said, join the charity buy some records from them and they like I said that all that money will go straight to that charity so without further ado like and the last thing as well if you guys can't get to the shop they do have 
a online shop so please check them out and also follow them on Facebook so you know what they're getting every single day they always keep themselves updated so please check them out and like I said if you guys are new to the, to the channel like I said Dobbs Rules is right here make sure you subscribe right here as you guys can see only about let's say about 14 percent ish are subscribed the rest of you are not subscribed so what are you doing hit the subscribe button if you love my content because I can tell you are because you're watching it and as well make sure you leave a like and also massive shout out to you Ben and Wax and Beans the whole community of Wax and Beans and the people who are working there you guys are awesome as always you always look after me and Mama Dobbs and without further ado the people I'm salute goes to you guys subscribing and I'll see you guys next time Cheerio!